Alright guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today we have some very, very big news that just dropped over here on JP Dokkan. We had a data download and a lot of things were revealed. So, first of all, Revival Skills. So Revival Skills is going to be the new mechanic introduced during this anniversary along with um, other little minor um, mechanics, I would say. And it says here, so shout out to Mar... Uh, I'm gonna butcher this name. Mar Cannon 3. It says revival skills are counters with extra steps. It says the transformation triggers when conditions are met during gameplay instead of during standby like Great Ape slash exchange active skills. I would expect it would skip the rest of the turn when it triggers. So, I personally am a little confused by this, but I think people would begin to... So, actually, you know what, this guy explains it pretty good. So, it would be like uh, if Int UI Goku would transform if HP lowers then 50% during battle phase in the same turn. So, basically, what I'm getting from this is revival skills can be activated, you know, during the actual gameplay. So, I think what that means is if you die, then you immediately get revived and that phase is over. So, yeah. So basically what revival skills are, basically what I'm getting from this is, say you say you already, uh, you know, picked all of your orbs, you already have all your, uh, um, all of your rotations, and the character that you have the revival mechanic with is in slot 1, and he immediately gets supered. If he dies in that super attack, the mechanic immediately happens, because it says conditions are met during gameplay, he immediately transforms or does the, whatever it is, the revival mechanic, and then that turn is then skipped, and then you would head on to a next rotation with that, uh, with, I mean, with your next rotation that you already have, and then you would have to wait, I think, another, uh, turn until you get the, now, re 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 you know, the unit that has the revival mechanic, uh, now, I guess, present. Oh, uh, that is basically what I'm getting from this, but again... I personally would like a little bit more clarification. Um, you guys can tell me what you guys think of this. Um, I feel like I'm maybe overcomplicating it, but again, who knows? But again, shout out to uh, Mark Cannon uh, three for the information. Next up is the uh, V jump. These are the V jump links for Dokkan. We have the sixth anniversary uh, project, 66 consecutive Gasha held. Um, I would assume what this means is there is going to be a 66 special summon, just like last year. Uh, again, this was the banner from last year. Uh, it was the same on Global and JP. So again, a decent array of uh, banner units. Thouser was a banner unit, so is Deborah. Uh, same thing with this Trunks. So a lot of banner units were on here. Uh, this uh, base Gohan as well. As well as some other, um, I, I would say, moderately decent EZA units. Uh, most of these units, EZA in the um, Hero and, and Extermination EZ area, uh, is where most of these units EZA. Of course, you have a couple of units that don't EZA like this, um, Android 16, which I think is the only one, because all these other units EZA. And if we go down here, these were all of the uh, obtainable LRs from the banner, so... Again, I would expect this pull to be increased. Again, we could see units like um, Spirit Bomb Goku, uh, UI Goku, who else released? Uh, maybe even Jiren. Uh, could be put into the banner pool because again Jiren is a legendary summon banner uh, who else were uh, Turles um, again Turles has not released over here on global but again LR Turles could be one of the newer units that is put into this banner pool for uh, legendary characters so again that is gonna be a thing and I actually made a couple tweets about this saying that um, UI Goku is either gonna be the anniversary unit or he's going to be the login bonus unit. And if they do that, that is going to be a huge curveball. Let me see if I can pull it up. Which, again, it basically right here confirms that he is going to be the login bonus. So I was right. I was met with some resistance when I did tweet this out. Let's go over here. Which, by again, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Where is it? I think it's it, it. It all started right here. 
Yeah, see, I see that UI Goku is basically the anniversary unit unless they throw us a curveball and change it, but I don't think so. Yep. So, I did not think that they would actually do that, but apparently it's true. Um, Goku is going to be the banner unit. Or not the banner unit. God. Good lord. He's, he's going to be the login bonus. A new support memory item. I will talk about that in a bit. Uh, status up and HP recovery activated under certain conditions. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. And then for Legends, we have Android 21 number, uh, yeah, 21 good. Um, again, I think Nazdarachi talks about this, is, um, of course, there are two versions of Android 21. Uh, from Fighters, there's Android 21 good, and there's Android 21 evil. Dokkan actually has, uh, both of these in-game. There's a free-to-play Android 21 good, and then there's a summonable Android 21 evil. And then, of course, um... Uh, Android 21 in Legends, the blue one is going to get her Zenkai, which I actually need to get going with this because I only have her at two stars, so um, again, I do want to do a showcase on her. I need to grind her up. Okay, so that was everything that was for um, V-Jump. Again, this is what we're talking about, the support memory items. So basically, these films and the item work hand in hand. Uh, these are little animations that will be playing whenever you meet the conditions. So, uh, you know, talking a little bit more about them, uh, the truth says, seems like stage drops these randomly. You can hold a maximum of 200. You can also buy them with Baba points. And then it also says that they remove the extra two slots uh, from JP. And again, this is going to be the slot where you can have whichever support memory you want. Uh, and if we take a look at the actual support memories, uh, courtesy of Hydros, is um, say that you have the Whis one activated in your uh, slot right here. To activate it, it is from the third turn from the start of battle. Key for all allies plus three. And let's translate the last bit. Uh, translate tweet. It says first tempura. Okay, so it was that was just the same thing, but in Japanese. So basically, I think you guys are starting to see what it is. Uh, these are just like little uh, animations that play. And, you know, then you get the buff after it. Like, for this one is uh, Fly Higher Dragon, so Kid Icarus and uh, Gohan. When HP 70% or less for one turn, attack and defense plus 10% up for all allies. And then, again, he talks about it. Uh, the only four currently in game is Whis, Kid Icarus and Gohan, uh, GT Goku being pulled by his tail, and then this Frieza. So, again, all of these have different effects. Like, for this Frieza one... Uh, for one turn, when there are super class enemies, attack plus 15%. And then this one, uh, the Goku, is for one turn if there are polar enemies, which I don't know what that means, but I guess maybe units of the opposite typing, maybe. Attack plus 15%. So again, this is basically, uh, you know, you, you farm these up, you get these, you bring these into battle. Once you get, you know, said conditions done and over with, you know, this activates and you uh, can use it. Let's, because, uh, uh, there you go. This is a video uh, courtesy of Kerry uh, showing it off. So let's take a look at it. And you just go into an event. Uh, in this case, he's taking it into the Legendary Goku event. Um, I don't know. Okay, so this one is Frieza, again, when he's fighting a super class ally. Uh, this animation plays. Of course, you can skip it. Um, as it's shown right there, and then, of course, this little, uh, movie or support memory plays, and then, of course, now they get the attack buff. Um, he goes on to show every single other one, uh, this Whis one, again, Whis is turn three. Uh, turn three, uh, plus three key for all allies, as you can see. Now it's turn three, and then that Whis memory is gonna play, and then, of course, you can skip it if you want. And then I do remember this episode where he's with Bulma and he tries Tempura for the first time and he absolutely falls in love with it. And there we go, plus three key. So again, very basic, very simple the way that the support memory works. Personally, I think it's an amazing addition to the game. Um, Icarus Kid Gohan is the harder one to, I would say, get off. But let's see what else is new. Okay, so yeah. So, again, Goresh is talking about this. Um, we will be getting good Android 21 for Legends. I assume she will be summonable and probably the, Valenti the Valentine's Day unit. Um, okay, so yeah. So that appears to be it for today. Again, 
uh, the support memory things I think work really really well I'm actually really excited uh, for that they actually look to be very unique uh, kind of reminds me of the equipment from uh, Legends in, in a sense because you know they could take some of those scenes like where may maybe Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta they you know do the twin uh, Gala Kamehameha and so you know they could implement that as, as a support memory you know in the future so again there is a lot of uh, potential with the support memory. It is a bummer that, you know, LR UI Goku standalone U UI Goku is not going to be the anniversary unit. But in my opinion, I kind of expected it just because, again, I don't think that they would use such a hype unit. Um, right now, again, they still have a lot of units to cover from the Tournament of Power, um, even from original Dragon Ball Z and this, as well as from uh, regular Dragon Ball. So, again, I wouldn't expect Master UI Goku then for a while now. Of course, that free-to-play login bonus is going to be the first ever mastered standalone UI Goku in-game. And so, uh, yeah, you guys can tell me what you guys think down below. Um, again, super cool animation by Matt, um, so shout out to him. So anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. You guys can tell me what you guys think about. Um, again, I have quite a bit of uh, videos I have to make today. Um, you know, I have another one, you know, in mind, and then, of course, I gotta get Android 21 fully built up and fully done. So, that is gonna do for today's video, like I said before, and, uh, see you guys next time.